2003 GMC M Boy. We have a check engine light. The Vickers engine is shaking. Upon initial initial inspection, this is what I found. I found that this this sensor was disconnected. The nut, uh, this uh, clamps were loose. This other one over here was loose for the intake. But after fixing that, after correcting that, now I'm having a uh, misfire on uh, cylinder number three. So what I did, I just swap the uh, ignition coil from number. We will change our ignition coil. We're gonna remove this vacuum hose. This uh, clamp. We're gonna remove that. We're gonna remove it from here as well, so we can take out the uh, air box intake. Also, this uh, 10 millimeter bolt, so we can lift this up, and then we're gonna get to our ignition coils there were actually two bolts for the uh, this air box over here so it's just one right here and one on the on the other side so that's it right here one here one on the back of this box right here so our number three cylinder is gonna be this one that's the ignition coil we're gonna replace so to remove the um, ignition coil plug, we're gonna press on this and pull back until this engraved uh, plastic comes all the way to the end. And then you can press on the tab to release it. We're gonna remove our 10 millimeter bolt, get it undone, and then there you have your ignition coil. Like I mentioned before, this vehicle had a uh, a code for um, like emissions or a vacuum code, which I will post it on the uh, on the video which code it is, and that was due to the uh, this air box being loose here. It wasn't tight. They didn't tie down the um, box here and here, so it was sucking air and creating that vacuum uh, engine code. And plus, this connector here was disconnected. So, if you have uh, like a, a vacuum code, you be shaking. First, check your come and check your wire, your hoses, your vacuum hoses, because. Uh, Sometimes people will work on vehicles, even uh, an oil change, they would just uh, try to check something and they forget, uh, they forget to plug it back. Just uh, do a visual inspection, they, it could save you lots of uh, money just by doing a visual inspection. So I swap them again, and I guess I didn't have a chance to record it. So now, as you can see, for number two, it was a number three that initial coil, now it's a number two, and it's throwing me the how many misfires as it is, is counting. And as you can see, the uh, misfires follow the ignition coil, so that's a clear sign of a bad ignition coil. All right, guys, have a good one.